How are you? Sir? Appreciate it. All right, guys, informal poll. How many of you guys love dogs or are dog owners? All right, seems like a few of you here. I want to introduce you to my, my dog, Rufus. He's my miniature schnauzer. And just like you guys, I love spending time with my dog. Uh, I also try to spend, uh, not only do I try to spend as much time as I can with him, but I also want to make sure that he's getting enough physical and mental stimulation throughout the day. But what happens when we get busy with life, with work? What happens when we come home tired and all we want to do is just plop our butts down on the couch and take a quick nap? What happens when the weather's not cooperating and it's pouring like it did last week and we can't take our dog out for that 30 minute walk? Or when we live in a tight space and we can't even throw a tennis ball around without breaking something? How do we mentally and physically stimulate our pets then? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Santiago Gutierrez and I'm the founder and CEO of Pulse Pet. We've created a toy that helps dog owners exercise and entertain their pets no matter where the owner is and no matter what they're doing. The Go Bone is your, all your dog's favorite toys basically put into one. So your, your, your dog can chase it, squeak it, chew it, your dog can eat the food and treats that come out of the wheels, but that's not really what makes this unique. What makes it unique is that it actually rolls around on the ground and encourages your dog to play with it that way. And the, the Go Bone can actually do this automatically. So you just double tap it, put it down on the ground, and it automatically rolls around and plays with your dog. But if you really want to have some fun, you can actually connect to it with your phone and treat it as a remote control dog bone. So, so this is the most fun part of it all. Um, this is, uh, we've got plenty of video on our Facebook site, so you can check it out how it works. Um, but besides that, the Go Bone is very tough. So we have a few prototypes that we've created and we have over a hundred, we've tested it on over a hundred dogs and we've tested it for over a thousand hours. And it's still, they're still rolling. Uh, the Go Bone, we also made it modular because you're probably wondering what happens when my dog chews it up? Well, you can just take off the parts that your dog has gotten dirty or chewed up and you could either wash them and put them back on or you could just toss them and put on new parts. There you go. So you don't have to buy the expensive uh, electronics package all over again. So it's a quick, easy, affordable way to uh, maintain the Go Bone. The market for dog toys, chews, and treats is $6.7 billion in 2015, and half of that is in the U.S. But these numbers are only the tip of the iceberg, because when you consider this, when you think about this, this is not just a dog toy, this is also a consumer electronics device. And at that point, you're dealing with higher average selling prices and you're dealing with a lot more customers than just customers that buy pieces of rubber that lie on the floor. Pulse Pet will make revenue, will, will recognize revenue through uh, transactional, uh, uh, well, transactional revenue through product sales as well as in-app purchases. And then our recurring revenue model uh, has us uh, recognizing revenue through attachment and, and uh, accessory sales as well. In terms of our pricing, we haven't yet finalized our pricing, but it'll fall between $149 and $199 once we finish up the development of it. Um, the, our, our, uh, our distribution model, so it's in three phases. We first plan on getting the GoBone online, available on our website, as well as Amazon.com, uh, followed by our, our local and regional brick and mortar uh, strategy, and then after that, we plan on going after the big box stores like Best Buy and Petco. This is my favorite part of what we're doing. Uh, the Go Bone has made such a big difference and big impact in the lives of shelter animals. We've tested it with a ton of shelter animals, as you guys could see back here, and it just makes them happier, peppier, and in our opinion, more adoptable when people come and see, you know, instead of a dog being out in the corner, they're actually playing around and they're a little more social. Where do we see Go Bone going and Pulse Pet as well? We see ourselves adding internet connectivity to our products so you could truly play with your dog from anywhere in the world, whether you're, whether you're across the street at a coffee shop or you're across the world or across the ocean on vacation in Tahiti or for business. And if you guys like what we're doing, if you guys like the product, check us out on facebook.com slash mygobone. You can see plenty of videos of people playing with their dogs with the GoBone and uh, like our page on Facebook and uh, sign up for our mailing list if you guys are interested in the product. Thank you so much. All right, Q&A.
Okay, five minutes, go. You, sir. Yeah, sure. So there's a few competitors of mine. One is Clever Pet. I believe that their product is $250, and essentially it's just a Simon Says game for your dog that dispenses treats when your dog gets the combination right. So your dog is not really getting a lot of physical exercise. It's mental exercise, but you know your dog might be just sitting there getting kind of fat. Um, you also have Pet Cube, which is essentially just a laser pointer uh, stuck on a video camera that you could ta log in to see wherever you are. Um, but again, it's just a little laser pointer. This is actually something that your dog can physically play with and you could physically play with as well uh, and eventually remotely, do so remotely. Um, besides that, you've got the iFetch. The iFetch is actually a, an automatic fetch machine that you put a ball in a hopper, it throws it out, and then you train your dog to bring it back, to fetch it, and put it back in the hopper. But it's kind of difficult to train your dog to do something like that, right? That one is, I think it retails for anywhere from 99 to 149. So I think that our price point is pretty in line with what, uh, with the value that we're providing, and we're not going over you know, $200, $250 like some of our competitors and offering very limited value. Yes. Me? Yes. All right. Is there a reason that you are sticking to Facebook and Twitter and not utilizing Instagram, which has such a huge conversion rate for these types of things? Sure. Actually, we are coming out with an uh, Instagram strategy right now as a boot, bootstrap company. We are very resource constrained. Uh, I, I yeah, but I. Yes, 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 yes. We are definitely that's that's on the radar. Yeah, no, thank you for asking. I think I forgot to tell you guys that we're going on Kickstarter in February of next year. Right now, it's just uh, brand awareness, getting the word out there about the Go Bone and we will hopefully have a successful launch in February of next year. But you do have a product, a physical. We do have a physical prototype, which you see in the pictures above, um, and you can see video of it at, at uh, facebook.com slash mygobone. Uh, you said that you've done testing on over 100 dogs. Yes. You have, uh, two pit bull rescues. One thing that I've found out is that nothing survives them. <laughs> yes. I want your contact information because I want to add you to our pilot program. So again, uh, our, our, our prototypes, we've actually tested it with 60-pound uh, pit bulls, and it survived that. Uh, but again, we're doing a, a little bit more testing before we, come, uh, we bring it out to the market. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so the materials that we're using are the, are the same materials that you find in other dog toys out there today, like famous uh, brands like Nylon, like uh, Nylabone and Kong. Uh, so we're not coming out with like any brand new material out there or anything like that. Um, in terms of the uh, durability of it, we are planning on having these, uh, the, the attachments last at least a few months so that you're not constantly having to rebuy these things as well. Yeah, so that, those numbers we're still working out right now. Um, right now, we are completely bootstrapped, so we have a little bit of uh, gas in the tank in order to figure out exactly how, much, uh, how many units we need to sell in order to break even. Um, but we're planning on uh, raising about 150K on Kickstarter, and that is enough to get us to about 3,000 units uh, pretty, uh, without a profit. Yes. So uh, I know you've tested the dogs, but dogs aren't buying, buying toys. Yeah. Yeah, so we've, we, we've, got, we've got numbers on that. We, we know how much it costs us to, to, to build it and how much we need to sell it for in order to make a, a little bit of profit. So. Well, the question is not what you have to sell it for. The question is if, if you used to sell you know, 100 and your market is 100 people, yeah. then you're done. Right. So the only question is, again, what's the share you have to get to? 
Uh, let's talk after this. Yeah. Let's talk. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So 